All right, now I want to set the stage, a little bit of imagery on what we're doing in software, all right? And um, every bit of software is going to have complexities of its own, all right? And so how fast we're able to complete a particular feature, a particular release, it's going to vary. However, universally, there's things that are going to sink you. And I want to I want to just play a little video clip and do an analogy because it relates to software. And so this is the uh, this is the clear measure. Bike on the right. And there's some things that we can learn off the dirt bike race. Black guy needs to fight a little bit. There he goes. All right. The flagger, he's going to wave and he's going to kind of point at all the riders, make sure everybody's ready. This is a kind of a mud race. And I'm on the bike on the right. And there's some stuff to think about. All right, we need to go fast, right? So. This stage of the race, it's all great. It just started and I'm in second place off the start. You didn't see it just on the left off camera, but there was a guy that already fell over because the dirt is the dirt soft. And just like in software projects, if something new is a greenfield project, we can start out fast um, and that's all great. But in a, a race, and these races are 70 minutes long, enduro style hair, hair scrambles through the woods and natural terrain and all that stuff. Obviously, we want to go fast, but even more important than that is to keep going. Constant progress. Anytime we're not moving forward, we're just we're just wasting time and other people are going to catch up and we're just not going anywhere. Also, if we fall over, we fall over We're we're not going anywhere. Then we got to fix a problem. We got to knock the mud off the handle, the handlebars. Maybe, you know, a brake lever broke or something. Now I got to fix something. Um, but as a, as, a, as a racer, you lose a lot of energy and you have, have to recover. You don't immediately get back up. So you do not want to fall over. And also, you don't want to run into a tree. You don't want to get injured. Any of those things can cause you to stop making consistent progress forward. And so I want to apply that to software and keep that in your mind because everything that we're talking about here, we are going to need to continually um, keep progress, keep forward progress. And there are enemies to our forward progress, all right? So that's what we're gonna focus on because regardless of, of, of how complex your domain is, the mix of technologies, uh, you know, uh, there's gonna be different levels of effort and whatnot you need to be focusing 100% on that and not being distracted by, you know, figuratively in the software world, running into a tree, falling off, breaking a lever, hurting yourself, things like all these things that would cause you to stop making forward progress. Because every, every bit of your effort and every bit of your mind needs to be going to making forward progress and continually inching the pace by which we're making forward progress, all right? So um, the reality here is that most teams are not moving at the pace that their companies would like. Most are not uh, keeping up with the pace of business. Um, one of, one of the, the tools that, that you can use that we have available is a self-assessment. It's easy to find on the Clear Measure website, we'll put that out there. Um, one of the subjective questions that we have in there is, are you happy with the pace of the delivery of the software team? Regardless if you're a member of the team or whether you're the lead engineer or whether you manage the team, you gotta kind of be honest with yourself. Am I happy with the pace that, that our team is going? And most of the respondents are, are not able to answer yes. And, and we're gonna talk about that. 
Um, so we want to go fast. And at the same time, we want to be going in the direction of our desired, uh, desired destination. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to go really, really fast, but constantly be zigzagging back and forth um, and, and, and just not, not going there. All right. Um, so if we get distracted, if we go to a place that's not critical path to our destination, if we go from uh, Austin, Texas to Houston, Texas, by way of New York City, we could be going a million miles an hour, but we're going many, many miles that just weren't necessary.